Oh boy, this is going to be promising looking. Just got to hope we have more than just a striker and a midfielder, even if it is a golden generation. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jayla TV. I'm Jay Lab and this is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge, where we are in charge of Sienna and a golden generation. Wait, what? Hang on. It says golden generation. It said a golden generation in this one. Maybe. That would explain a few things. Okay, so he says the golden generation, but the head of youth development is saying, actually, no, it's an excellent group of players. Don't be stupid. Oh, okay. That's something I can learn. There are a few good wingers. A few good wingers. Most of our attacking midfielders won't make the standard. Wide midfielders are the same as defensive midfielders and centre backs. And most goalkeepers are not good enough. No wing backs. And it doesn't say about full backs. Just says wingbacks. Now, I want to know what the fullbacks is for this regard. But a striker that's caught the eye and a top prospect in midfield, that's promising. It's not the golden generation like my under 18th manager thought it was. I don't know why it was him at first reporting it, but I'm happy it's now my head of development since he's kind of the person that is bringing these players in and everything else. So, hmm, should be good. But we've had a few games since we last met. We're in December. We had to have our last game before the winter break. So how have things been getting on? So our first game was away from home against Teramo. And we lost thanks to that penalty from Casso. And yeah, they had an XG of 2.12 compared to our 0 0.20. I think that tells you the entire story. Fonte was absolutely useless in this game. And yeah... It stands out. It just really stands out. I was disappointed. I thought we could have done more, but we didn't. So, what can you do? Our next game was against Fermano. Well, Fermano in the Coppa Italia Liga Pro Cup. We lost the goal thanks to this effort. And, got to be honest, was a bit dis was a bit heartbroken to the fact we lost this game in certain circumstances where we were probably just about better or on similar to them so we should have gone more than this i feel but yeah we had 17 shots they had five their chances were better than ours overall on average so it just shows that we weren't at our best today just wish we could do more our next game was at home to perugia and we drew against them in our first ever game in charge we lost to them this time thanks to Mineso. and gotta be honest Probably deserve to lose, but it did hurt a little bit. I mean, we only had two shots. Of course, we deserve to lose, but it definitely hurt to know that we were not as good as we were hoping would be today. But it is what it is. We definitely need to do better than that in the future, at least. Our next game was away from home against Fermana again, and this time we actually did draw against them. Nil nil. We kept the clean sheet, but we didn't score. And there's a, you can see a pattern starting to form, right? Like how it's there's something not happening that something's a bit blank at the moment. Yeah, I think it's starting to show a little bit. Even if we are having okay games, I mean, both goalkeepers got a sim rating at least at some point, so you can tell that there's, there's an issue somewhere in this playing game. The last game was against Virtus and Teller, and honestly, this is probably my favourite game because of the fact we actually took a side that I expect that were predicted to win the league and we're honestly the better team. It doesn't feel like much. And Forte actually got injured. So he's out for a few for a bit. Because he actually broke his ribs in his games. But we did okay. And it wasn't the end of the world. Just wish we, wish, just wish we could have done better. But where did all these results leave us in the league? So we're in 14th. We are two points clear of the relegation playoffs. And we are three points clear. Four points clear of the actual relegation position if the relegation playoff doesn't happen so we've got to work on this we've got 19 points in 19 games we've won four times drawn seven lost eight and 
if we're looking at the stages, we've only got 11 goals in the first 19 games. We've got the second worst attack in the league. And I guess this striker coming in, if this is a very good striker and a very good central midfielder coming in is useful, then maybe we're going to have some people that can help solve our issue if their current ability is really good. If their potential ability is really good, then just as good as well. But yeah, it's one of those seasons where anything can go right or wrong. We're seven points off the playoffs or top half. And we've definitely got to work on a few things. So it's just got to make sure we do something productive and don't do anything stupid, right? That's what I've got to do. And that's all we need to do. But we've got our current the team that's in ninth place next in the league. Arz Arezzo? Arezzo, I think is how you say it. But they are a mid-table team that take... They finished in third last year, so they're not exactly a bad team. They were particularly in fourth this year, so with the fact we got a point against them in the first game, it's, it's kind of interesting. But we've definitely got to do more, and I think we can absolutely do some damage. I, I keep getting these reports, and this is taunting me because I can't sign any players, but these players are really good. Like this guy, for example, I would love to sign him. I would love to sign him for just £5,000. But because of the change I'm doing, I can't sign him, and it's just a taunting situation. That I'm literally being taunted. The game's taunting me, and it knows I, it, I can't do that right now. Has Fano actually got a draw against Twistina? Okay. Didn't they beat us 4 0? I think they beat us 4 0. But yeah, it just shows you that potentially there's some good talent here. And MLSC are now in the relegation playoffs. So, hmm. If we can beat the team that we're facing today, or at least get another point, even if we don't score, we need to start scoring, actually, because we haven't scored in five now. But if we can do better, then it's better. They want us to go cautious, too. I want to go t positive. I, You know what I was saying about how I didn't want to take do this? Well, I've changed it, and it's apparently not worked very well. So I want to go for this again, and hope for this central midfield is going to be worthwhile for us because I feel that there's a lot of potential we can do here and we need to do better and yeah this guy's going to start for us he's actually more of a striker he's naturally a striker but we can play on both wings too so he's very versatile very very useful for us and if the striker is not as good as I was hoping it would be I mean compared to our Lithuanian striker who's got 7 and 14 caps then maybe we can do something here but I don't want to change my approach because even though we've not got a goal or won anything recently, I still think there's potential to do something really good here. And we actually haven't won since we last met. So it's five games without a win in all competitions. So we need to do something and quickly, I feel. It's just a matter of time before we screw this up. I love the fact we have 12 substitutes, though. That, for me, is my favorite part about this. It really is. They have a free kick. And they've scored from it. Martinez scored. So, between these, the, this video and the last video, I actually had a t I was actually waiting or playing without the hot fix that came in to deal with some issues. And it's I, I can't help but feel like ever since the hot fix has come in and ever since I turned the game off and restarted it and all that stuff, that everything's been going against me, which is a bit of annoyance, but it is what it is. And I can't complain. Also, I can't help but feel like the dugout's not giving me anything now. And it's set pieces that are just annoying here. And we just don't seem to defend them very well anymore. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised if we don't do well in this game, but I still want to be doing well. It is very frustrating because we know we are better than what we've been showing so far. Um, hmm. That would have been... I was going to say, if that got in, <laughs> I would not have been a happy boy. I would not have been, not have been happy at all. But this is a possibility. I don't know what's happening here. He set the bar. He should have scored that. He really should have scored that. And I'm disappointed he has not scored there. We've got a chance. And it's been headed the way. And Abana... Yeah. Abanda? Abanda, sorry. Yeah, Abanda is on the ball... Plays it across. It's gone over the bar. Baloney will feel he should have done more than that. But they got a corner again. They've hit the post. I'm going to actually change my mentality to 
balance now. I don't know if it'll make a difference. And the fact that you literally have a highlight immediately afterwards makes me wonder if it will make a difference or not. But we're going to play... I don't think it's making a difference. If anything, it's just opening us up even more. And they've had a chance and he's pretty wide. Oh, God. They're going to have a, call, a free kick now. And they, it's offside. I don't know if that, if that was off or not, but... Huh. Let's go cautious this time. But they definitely... Okay, he was just about off, but it wasn't by much. Okay, so we've still not had a single shot in this half so far. Gabriel plays it forward, but it's dealt with. I wonder if I should have kept it the positive. The tweet, the thing, I'm going to go back to positive, because if we concede now, I just feel like I made a mistake. Let's put it over. This doesn't felt good at all. I guess it's almost a good thing that we're having the winter break now, but we've had no shots in this half. It's, just, it's been all them. All them, and I don't like it. We've lost our 10th game in charge now, and I'm disappointed. Very, very disappointed. We've had 25 games, we've considered 25 goals, we've scored just 16. There's an issue with our attacking force, I think, and i got to figure out what it is in very, very quickly. Because this can't continue. We're Yes, we're in 14th, but we're only a point clear of the relegation playoffs. And two points off the relegation, last relegation zone. Um, so we've got to absolutely make sure we do not screw this up, because we've gone five games in the league without winning and scoring. So that's the concern now. But at least we know what our youth intake is going to look like. And we've got a bit of a break before we play the next game. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. I we, I think because the, two, the one two teams are the teams, these two. I don't want to be coming back for that. I want to be back. We'll have nine games back for this. I want to be back, I think, for this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally going to play all of these games. All nine games I'm going to be playing. I want to be in between these two. I just want to get through the season because it's the players we need to get through that will help us first and foremost. And we can defend. We can get clean sheets. We just can't score at the moment. And it just it just shows that this result where we won 4-1 was just the anomaly. And I don't know why. I really don't know why that's a problem. But six games without a goal. We need to do something and very, very quickly. So... Hopefully I can be fixed soon. Either way, I'm going to end things here. Hope you guys actually enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys have liked and shared this video. And that you all subscribe to my yourself. It really does help me a lot. Yeah, 21 goals to see in 20 games. That just tells you all you need to know. But anyway, until next time, bye and well, good night.